Welcome to our final midweek Lenten luncheon service uh, today. We are glad you are here. Uh, next week is Holy Week, and we will not have a Wednesday service, but we will be having services for Maundy Thursday and Good Friday right here in the chapel at 7.30 each evening, and we hope that you will be able to join us. Um, I know that you will be blessed by your time here today, a time of contemplation and beautiful music. Uh, so, but first let us hear from Marie. Maria, that was um, beautiful. Now, let us go to the Lord in prayer as we pray for the world. Let us pray. Creator God, you created this planet and all of the universe, and we thank you for your goodness, your foresight. But Lord, we have made a mess of things. We are on a planet that is beset by climate change, caused by us thinking that this creation will just last forever and we can do whatever we want to with it. So Lord, give us the ability to treat all of creation as your precious creation 
all of this world as important to you and let us take care of it. Um, Lord, there is unrest all around the world. We know of the war in Ukraine and we lift up those people who are still fighting valiantly for the sovereignty of their country. There is unrest in other places, Lord, and tensions are high throughout the world. And we ask you to give leaders clear heads and open hearts so as to not create more conflict. Lord, there is drought, there's floods, there's extreme heat, there's just so much going on everywhere. There's poverty and people who cannot find enough to eat. Um, we lift them up to you and we ask you to provide. There's violence. There's just untold suffering all around us, Lord. And while we like to close our eyes to it and insulate ourselves, help us see all the pain and suffering around us so that we may be moved to do something about it. Lord, in your infinite mercy and grace, we lift all these concerns and those that we now bring before you in our hearts. Lord, we trust that you hear us when we pray and you hear the calls of our heart even when we don't have the words. So we put all these things in your loving hands through your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And now, if you would please rise as we sing hymn 286, verses 1 and 2. be seated. Our scripture reading today is Psalm 32. Hear now these words. Happy are those whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Happy are those to whom the Lord imputes no iniquity and in whose spirit there is no deceit. While I kept silence, my body wasted away through my groaning all day long. For day and night your hand was heavy upon me. 
My strength was dried up as by the heat of summer. Then I acknowledged my sin to you and did not hide my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord and you forgave the guilt of my sin. Therefore, let all who are faithful offer prayer to you. At a time of distress, the rush of mighty waters shall not reach them. You are a hiding place for me. You preserve me from trouble. Trouble. You surround me with glad cries of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you the way you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. Do not be like a horse or a mule without understanding, whose temper must be, must be curbed with bit and bridle, else it will not stay near you. Many are the torments of the wicked, but steadfast love surrounds those who trust in the Lord. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, O righteousness, and shout for joy, all you upright in heart. The word of God for us, the people of God. Thanks be to God. So please take a couple of minutes to silently reflect on Psalm 32.
We have some more moments for prayer, so let us approach God's throne. Loving God, we acknowledge to you today that we are sinners who need your grace and mercy. Forgive us for being so self-focused, for ignoring you and others. Help us to see others with your eyes and treat them as you would. Lord, our hearts are breaking for all the people affected by the mass shooting at, the, at Covenant School in Nashville. Lord, we lift them up to your care. And we also beg you to change the hearts and minds and actions of those who would do harm to others, as well as those who are in the position to pass laws that would lessen the possibility of these tragedies. Lord, we know that at its heart, all sin, all evil is against you. So help us improve our relationship with you and grow in it so that we may grow more like your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Comforting God, we lift up all of those who are battling cancer and other difficult diseases that rob them of their strength and their ability to, to live life the way that they would want to. Enable them to trust you as they go through these difficult times. Lord, we lift up all those who have surgery, who are healing from surgery, um, who need your healing touch placed upon them for all different kinds of things. Lord, we lift up those who don't have people around them to love and care for them, who are lonely or estranged from family and friends. And we ask you to draw them into relationship with you and with others so that they might be blessed since you created us to be in relationship. Lord, help us walk with you so that we might be your hands and feet in this world. And now, I ask you to lift your voices in prayer with me as we pray the Lord's Prayer found printed on your bulletin. Eternal God, earth maker, pain bearer, life giver, source of all that is and that all shall be, mother and father of us all, loving God, in whom is heaven. The hallowing of your name echo through the universe. The way of your justice be followed by the peoples of the world. Your heavenly will be done by all created things. Your commonwealth of peace and freedom sustain our hope and come on earth. With the bread we need for today, feed us. In the hurts we absorb from one another, forgive us. In times of temptation and test, strengthen us. From trials too great to endure, spare us. From the grip of all that is evil, free us. For you reign in the glory of the power that is love, now and forever. Amen. And now if you would please rise as we sing hymn number 301.
And now, as you go through the rest of this week and the holy week that is to come, may the love of God surround you. May the grace of God astound you. And may the hope of God ground you. Amen.